Coming up on this week's episode, we're all melting like ice creams. Because of the extreme heat, we literally have turned into liquid now. Yep, drink us up. All in this week's episode of... Hey, I suck at the gas! My name is Fraser. And my name is Drink It Up. I know, why did I say that? <laughs> yeah, that, that was a bit... Yikes, that's what yeah. the heat's doing to you this time. <laughs> yeah, don't drink us up. See, my brain's turned into a puddle and I think it shows. <laughs> Clearly, because mm, you want to get drunk. Just Yep, yeah, exactly. Well, not drunk, wait, but you want to get wait. drinked. We're alcoholic? Oh no, that's exposing we're alcoholics. Yikes! <laughs> Disclaimer for everybody listening, we are not alcoholics. Please not use wow. this against us, because this term has now been invalidated. Oh. We legally retract our comments. I think that's what people say. Withdraw statement, that's it. Withdraw yeah, we statement. Could, we, yeah, we, we could do that. Or, or we Kai. can just own up to it. <laughs> yeah, Kai's an alcoholic. He's a raging yeah, alcoholic. Massive. Sorry, everyone. The amount of alcohol I drink every, every you know, once every few weeks. Month. He puts it in his frosties, you know. Ah, oh, Fraser, get it right. Cocoa pops. Not no, Vitos. <laughs> oh, I see. To be fair, though, otherwise, I put it cocoa in pops too. and rum make a bowl full of fun. <laughs> <laughs> Why was that so good? I don't know. But you if know they what? ever do make an alcoholic version, they need to hit us up because I'm trademarking that now. <laughs> <laughs> How are you, Kai? So good. I'm good. You know what I've got here? What's that? Is that a drink? It is. I've just uh, just remembered. You said it's uh, <laughs> you said Coca pops and rum. I've yep. got something called Sunrise Cocktails Peach on the Beach. Mm. What is that, like a pre-made cocktail? Yeah, it's really nice actually. I didn't what even know it was alcoholic. Well, I'm gonna guess peach. <laughs> no, it's it's, it's that sparkling was such a orange. dumb question. What the fuck? Sparkling orange, cranberry and peach schnapps flavored mix. Ooh, that actually sounds nice. It does. There's not much left, but you have to get it, some more. It's been in my bag for the last week and a half, and I've just remembered it was there because of your Ugh. sandwiches. So I bet well that's done. warm. You know what? It's really not. It's the coldest thing in my room right now i think oh wow fair play other than the drink i'm job, drinking then. now of course which is actually a glass of da 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 squash oh hey same here uh, hey, hey, hey. Although, <laughs> hey kids although the ice i literally put it in like maybe 10 minutes ago and there was like six ice cubes in there all gone yep i can't afford ice <laughs> oh all the alcohol <laughs> Oh, have you not got um little ice mold things, ice cube molds? No. Oh, sad. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's hot today, isn't it, Fraser? It's warm. Yes, it is really warm. Um, I'm pretty much sweaty and have been all day um, whilst I've been working. And uh, yeah, the last three days, we're recording this on Monday 19th, the last three days um, have been blistering heat, like clear all day, um, I like which, it. which is lovely. Yeah, I, I like it, but it's only good when there's a call cool option. Um, yeah. There's got to be a call cool option. If there's, if there's a way for you to cool off or at least like get in the shade and be a little bit cooler than what it's like outside, great. But yeah, for the last three days, uh, I haven't been keeping track of the humidity, but we've had highs of 32 on the Saturday, highs of 33 on the Sunday, and today, Monday, they uh, started the day saying, oh, highs of 28. Nope, highs of 33, and an extreme weather warning introduced midway through. <laughs> There's a thing on uh, on the weather app as well right now that's saying dis- disruption due to extreme high temperatures. Yeah, exactly. That's what mine's saying. What does that mean? If it means that there's going to be disruption due to extreme high temperatures. Time delays between this website. What? Current. What? <laughs> Basically, what it means is it's saying that there's going to be some probably health effects for those of you um, that are vulnerable to extreme heat. And chances are there's going to be some delays like road, rail, that sort of stuff. And um, right. I mean, that's right because. In Bristol, um, there was uh, electric cables near Bristol yep. Parkway train station um, that uh, got damaged today because of the extreme heat. So there were delays Ooh. to uh, trains today and cancellations. I know my, my car brakes are definitely uh, much squeakier today and yesterday than they have been. Oh, I can imagine. Like the heat's obviously expanded or whatever, or whatever on the metal. And all I can hear like when I'm braking is... <coughs> That sounds horrible. Yeah, not the best sound to hear. Especially when you're driving and you're like, what the fuck is that? You know how much luck we're driving as well, haven't you, because of the heat? 
Oh yeah, I some burnt my fucking arm. <laughs> <laughs> my called, my car's I think air that's conditioning. That's called trucker's arm, isn't it? It is, yeah. Yeah. My my car's air conditioning is very broken. It doesn't oh, really pump no. out uh, cold air at all. Um, you have to get like, it regassed. I do. Um, oh. But and it's I still dodgy. Do oh. No, no, I haven't done it. I haven't done it. I just oh, oh, to do okay. It. Yeah, gotta get it regassed. That will help you out massively. Yeah. So I'll do that at some point, but. On full blast, it's like no, no feeling at all. So I'm going to do it at some point this week if I can. Yeah, you um, need to. Otherwise, you're just going to suffer. You I mean, I mean it, will, it won't take long, will it? No, no, it don't, it don't take too long. No. It's, um, obviously, it'll take a little bit of time because they do have to get inside the car and take out some bits and bobs. Uh, but otherwise, no, it's, it's not like... Well, like I, I don't think it would take more than an hour. Oh, definitely not. So, I'd be surprised if it does. Yeah, so I can Unless you go to a dodgy garage and the garage is like, oh yeah, actually your wheels have turned into squares. We need to replace the wheels too. <laughs> when you know uh, that's not like, the case. Nah, my MOT is all right still, thanks. <laughs> 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 but uh, no, my so I have my window down, uh, both my windows down, my whole journey back home yesterday. Uh-huh. And um, oh my God, the, the drive took an extra hour because of so really? much traffic, everyone coming down to the beach. Oh no. Um, and... So my arm just slowly getting more and more burnt. I didn't even realize, right? Because we had to go and pick up our PA for our gig next week. Or like yeah. one of the ones, that, part of it that we're going to use. And um, the guy we picked it up from said to, to uh, our bass player, oh, your nose looks a little bit pink. And I looked, up, I looked down at my arm. I was like, fucking hell, my arm's red. Gosh. <laughs> it took me about five hours to even realize it was like red. That's funny. But uh, yeah, so that's... Because because of needing my uh, air conditioning regas, that was the result. Was my arm getting burnt? Did you know that on nope. the topic of like driving and heat and stuff? You know yep. when you have like dogs in your car and you roll down the window, and, like stick their head out the window. Did yes. you know that's illegal? Is it? And can land you with like a two grand fine. Is it actually? Yeah. I found that out the other day. Can't really control a dog getting their head out the window. To be honest, can you? Exactly, but then they're seeing they're saying that's like that's putting the dog in danger. I guess because um, they could just jump also, out. Exactly, also putting other road users in danger. Um, yeah, and also you're being negligent, and you might be distracted by the dog if they're doing it. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I, I found that out the other day, and while I've never ever drove with a dog hanging its head out the window, um, well, I never have either. Yeah, I, I know that I never ever will as well, because you, you see it happening all the time, especially you know. Uh, I saw it today. Yeah. Yeah. Two there was grand a finds. big fluffy dog looking out the window right at me. Aww. It's out the window. They're very cute, especially when the ears flap in the wind. <laughs> it is very sweet. I, I can see how like it would be distracting and stuff, obviously, because everyone gets distracted by a dog with their head out the window, don't they? Yeah, exactly. So, that's weird, but fair. Yeah, and we're all having to find ways to cool down at the moment as well, and especially uh, finding ways to keep our dogs cool, because I know that, oh my gosh, we haven't been walking beta um, during the day at the moment. We've no, been going I, very I early in the morning. I, I've been walking, I've kind of been keeping Coda more to the garden the last couple of days, just yeah. because it's uh, nicer for him, you know. Yeah, oh, and, you, and you don't want dogs walking on tarmac in this heat anyway, because it can no, properly exactly. burn their pads. Exactly. If it's too hot for a human, it's too hot for a dog. You know? Exactly. I think the rule of thumb is if you can't put your hand on the tarmac for seven seconds, then your dog's going to get burnt. Yes. That is right, I think. But yeah, I wouldn't even do it if I couldn't keep my hand on it for like ten seconds. No, you, you want to make sure your dog's going to be okay as well because exactly. the last thing you want is your dog to like get heat stroke and die. Oh, exactly, yeah. We've had uh, we've had the paddling pool out literally every single day for the last week. Yeah. Uh, maybe even longer than that. So uh, Beta goes on a walk in the morning and then what I do is um, while she's out on her walk, because I'm working in the morning, um, I fill up the paddling pool for her yep. to come back and now she's got into the habit of um, running into the paddling pool when it comes back. So Aww. when I didn't do it once, she ran to the paddling pool and just stood there like, huh? <laughs> and I felt so bad, but also like I wasn't asked to. So that was the reason why it didn't get filled up. But otherwise, she absolutely loves going in the paddling pool. She's got a cool coat on all the time to keep her nice and cooled down. Um, <laughs> and she's been playing with the hose pipe loads as well, being properly sprayed with water. She's absolutely loving it because it's like the most fun time of year. But at the same time, she knows when it gets too hot because she doesn't like going inside, but she goes inside voluntarily sometimes. Yeah, yeah. She's very sweet. She's very, very sweet. 
Oh, I yeah. need to come see her again at some point. You do! Come over this summer. I've got plenty of time off that I'm being begged to take off by my manager I, at the I moment. I will. I will. So come down. Especially August is a really good time to come down. Yep. Because everyone's heading away from where I live. So um, okay. heading in, a breeze. <laughs> okay. We'll do some point in August. 100%. Yes. Sounds like a plan. You know um, what, though, Fraser? What's that? That can link into something very nice that's coming up as well. It is. Oh, I cannot wait to talk about that. That will yeah, be coming. So stay tuned for that, guys. Yeah, very, very shortly. Because before we do that, um, of course, we just talked about dogs calling down. But um, I don't know about you, but I've been trying to find new ways to call down, Kai. Go on. Um, because obviously it's getting really, really hot. And um, I don't know about you, but I like standing in the fridge sometimes. Um, and just being in the fridge for that little bit longer gives you that little bit more like uh, a little bit more willing, a little bit more willingness. That's it. That's what I'm trying to say uh, to be out in the heat. I've got um, a small fridge freezer. <laughs> oh, so, no, we're gonna need to find some creative ways for you to cool down then. Uh, I mean, I'm all right. You know, I I don't really get affected by the heat. Ah, oh, that's bullshit. You just burnt your arm. Well, yeah, but like, it, it's not bothering me, you know. Ah, well, we still got to find some new creative ways for you to cool down, Kai. What about your freezer? Is your freezer big? My freezer's the same size as my fridge. Right, so we got problems here because I just live in my fridge or freezer. So, how about this? We're going to think of some new ways to cool down, okay? Okay, go on. So, first of all, the most obvious one, which may be a bit cliche, you got to yep. get a swimming pool. I can do that. Okay, yep, so you got to cool down the swimming pool. Yep. Um, otherwise, if you want to, uh, if you want to spice it up a little bit, spice. how about let's make it fun at the same time? And instead of just getting a swimming pool, what about you make a cocktail swimming pool? So in so your do swimming I sit pool, in the cocktail? you or... sit in the cocktail, and instead, let's just say you like accidentally slip and you go underwater, and you're like, oh no, help me, I'm going to drown. Not a problem. <laughs> you don't need to worry. <laughs> How because... big's the swimming pool? Um, I don't know. We'll figure that out later. Um, but don't worry, because you're not going to be like, oh, no, help me, I'm drowning. Uh, you'll be drinking the cocktail and getting drunk. Well, you know, I've got my Sunrise Cocktails Peach on the Beach mix here. Exactly. It's, it's ready to go. <laughs> Get about, like, 300 bottles of them, and you got a cocktail swimming pool. I, I don't think you need 300 bottles, to be fair. I think I need, like, 100, probably. See, perfect. Yeah. Well, maybe, about maybe more than 100. 800 know. pounds. No, they're pretty cheap. I think they're only like one pound fifty. It's in little. One hundred and fifty pounds. You have to do it. Yeah, and that, that could be like a banging that, that video could as well. Be, if I get a sponsor, sure. <laughs> yeah, previous sponsors, hit him up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, How about this? I've I've got a new idea for you to call down. Go on. So, you create a water park in your back garden. I mean, I would do that, hundred percent. Perfect. Wouldn't trust. Uh, wouldn't really trust myself setting it up. But yeah, but it doesn't matter, does it? Because like, you can wake up in the morning. I don't know about you, but I've been waking up earlier because of the heat. Uh, kind of, but not really. Yeah, no, I've been waking up earlier because of the heat. I can't sleep under the covers, um, and uh, I wake up a lot easier uh, in the mornings. And I'm like, oh, I wish I could cool down even more because I got my fan going, but it's just blowing around the warm air from the night. Yep. Um, so what if you just get a slide from your bedroom window <laughs> going down into that big cocktail swimming pool <laughs> I could do that yeah my, my window goes into my back garden see perfect you know what Fraser you're speaking some sense here yeah how about you have you got any have you got any cool ideas to cool down yeah go on then don't <laughs> what a shit idea <laughs> what an <laughs> awful idea well you know I'm like I said I'm not really affected by the heat you know? Yeah, but like, what if everybody else is? What if your dad's like, oh, Kai, I don't know about you, but it's uh, bloody hot today, isn't it? And you're like, oh, don't worry, Dad, I've got this amazing idea, which is... Don't. No! Bad idea! Awful idea! Oh, <laughs> uh, but... I don't know. I'm stupid. How about we let the community decide? If you've got any fun, inventive, creative ways to cool down in the heat, that is breaking from the norm completely just like my cocktail swimming pool slide thing uh tweet us at stuck in a podcast uh we want to hear your creative ways um because kai will 
definitely not create them, but um, I will try and persuade him to. <laughs> Thank you for confirming I will definitely not do them. We're only telling the truth here. Although um, one thing that isn't the <laughs> truth um, is the other week Kai said he's going to get a hot tub. He ain't got it yet. I'm trying. I'm still trying. You can't say I'm not. Cold tub! <laughs> Someone get on that! You fill it up with water, it does the cold tub, it does, yeah, it does the whole tub, whole tub? Hot tub, bubbly stuff, but it cools it down in the process! You could do that. Oh you my just God. made it up and you could I'm do it. I'm patenting it right now! Yeah, 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 do that, do that. Cold tub, come into a, I don't know, store near you. Argos, probably. <laughs> they do good things. <laughs> Anyway, enough of that. Onto the cool, exciting things coming up this week. Anyway, Fraser, guess what's happening this weekend? You're having a shower. Yes, you are correct. But guess what else is happening? Um, you're drying off after the shower. Yes. <gasps> oh, but congratulations! Guess what else is happening? Uh, I don't know, Kai. Well, I do, but I want to make this interesting. What's going on? We, for the first time in a year and a half, are finally going to see each other again in person! Woo! That we is actually are. mad to think. A year it's and a half. Been so long. The last time we saw each other was when we were going down south to get Coda. Yeah, and by south, we mean southwest. <laughs> yeah. Near which, Weymouth. Uh, yeah. Which was a long, long journey, to be fair, for me. Yeah, long drive for you, um, and then, uh, yeah, Bristol to Weymouth times for me, which ain't too bad, but, uh, yeah, for you, it was a really bloody long drive, and yeah. it's literally been that long, um, yeah, since It's been last since major, February 2020. Which is absolutely unbelievable. Yeah, it's mad, but we're, we're finally going to meet again. Um, it's been so long. Uh, we're having a few other people down. We're not going, like, crazy. We're just having, you know few close people so we're gonna have myself you uh aiden's coming down uh sherry's coming down um cam's coming down cam's sherry's coming down. boyfriend's Will's, coming down yeah helena's coming down Will's coming Will's down coming helena's coming, down. coming yeah. down so you know eight or nine people total i think yeah so should be very nice we're just gonna hang out have a nice couple of days together and you know enjoy the weather hopefully because it, it seems like it might be a bit weird at the weekend yeah kai kai attracted us down with um with barbecue and gig and when we but when we all heard that we were like yes sign yeah. me the fuck up we so, love barbecues and we that's love gonna be fun the weather looks like it's meant to be all right i'm looking at it now the highest percentage of rain is like 30 percent at 7 a.m oh that's not too bad so should be good. Should yeah. be good. Um, but otherwise, I mean, we, we're going to have a lovely time. We're going to go to my garden. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> we'll go to the beach. We'll go on a Tesco's trip or something like that, I'm sure. Yep. Um, and then we've also got my gig on the Monday, which is going to be hopefully good. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Uh-huh. And that's it, really, isn't it? We're just going to have a lovely, lovely time. I'm really looking forward to it. It's been so long since I've came down, and it's also been that long since I've seen Coda as well. I last saw yeah, Coda, which when is going to be puppy, weird, and now he's a big boy. It is weird because I looked at the video of when we got him, and he's so small. Exactly, yeah. He's we literally you about, could fit him in your hand. We were talking about fridges in our Discord server the other day, and I sent a picture of how Coda saw himself for the first time in my fridge. In the that's in like the reflection. He didn't go in the yeah, fridge. Yeah, I saw remember himself. it. I remember it. That was so yeah. sweet. Yeah, and it's, it's literally been that long. So I'm excited to see him again. I'm excited to see everybody else again. And at the same time, um, I've actually got plans to properly go into London. Ooh! Which will be fun uh, because I made um, I made those plans a little while ago, as you guys would have known from the uh, I'm going to London podcast, which never happened. <laughs> um <laughs> Uh, but no, this time there's uh, there's actually plans to go into London. It's going to be really good because one of the things that I'm, uh, we're going to be doing whilst we're there um, is like two years ago for my 22nd birthday. Yeah. Um, so almost two years ago for my 22nd birthday, I was gifted one of those Virgin experiences. Yeah, and I remember. the Virgin experience is um, 
for two for two people uh two people can go down the longest or i think it's either the world's i don't think it's the world's longest but it's definitely the uk or europe's longest uh uk or europe's longest slide at the olympic stadium yeah um, and that normally has a year validity on it but then covid happened they're like oh we're gonna extend it by uh, by three months for everybody and now we're gonna extend it by another three months hey guys we're gonna extend it by six months and then literally uh like two weeks ago hey we're extending it by another six months <laughs> um so like it almost was like a three-year valid voucher um at that point yeah um but uh, no, I I finally got it booked in, and oh my god, I got so lucky because um, when I activated the voucher for the first time, mm-hmm. um, it was like, "Cool, this is how you book it. Please give four weeks notice." And I was like, "What? <laughs> I didn't know where to give four weeks notice." So I sent an email last night for Saturday. Yep. So I sent an email on a Sunday for Saturday, six days notice. They got back to me today. We secured you our only slot. Oh, I was like, oh my god, amazing. that is amazing! So uh, yeah, on Saturday, going to be going to do that. Which um, I can't, I'll be lying if I said I'm buzzing for it. At this point, I'm like, I just want to use it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it is just a slide at the end of the day, isn't it? It's like it a big hell to skeleton. It's the world's longest slide. It's pro- it's probably going to be good vlog content. Yeah, for um, sure. Because I might vlog uh, the weekend down at yours. Yeah, um, do generally. It. Um, so it's going to be good vlog content. Um, Hell but yeah. otherwise, <laughs> it's a slide. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a slide. But the good thing is, you also get to go at the tower next to the Olympic Stadium, which would be a good photo opportunity as well. Yeah, so, that's pretty yeah. good. I, I'm just generally looking forward to uh, doing things that weekend. It's going to be such a fun weekend. Oh, it's going to be a great weekend, I'm sure. Yeah, but oh. you've um, you've also got some uh, some plans coming up as well for London. I have, yeah. Uh, We are filming there on Wednesday morning, so when this comes out, um, I am filming there. I've got, I can't say what it is, but it should be out on Friday. Ooh. Um, It's, it involves Gibson again, which is a good thing to say. So that should be cool. That'll be fun. Then, I mean, do you know what time I have to get to London? (laughs) Uh, no. 10 a.m. I have to be in London. We're starting filming at half ten. So what I'm doing is I'm driving because there's a few of us, and um, I'm bringing is it like your band? yeah, it's my band, and then like um, one of their girlfriends because she's really good at filming stuff and whatever else. So she's got a few cameras, she's gonna set them up and whatever else. We get like a few angles. Uh huh. And um, then a couple once someone lives there already in London, then uh, the other guys come in by train. But if we all got the train, it would have been. 60 quid each for a yeah, return. Yeah, I'm not surprised because it's going to be because peak it's times, early. Though. Yeah. Yeah. So, because of that, we're, I'm now driving up to like Ebbsfleet International <laughs> and we're parking there to get a £10 uh, ticket to sit in, in there, or like get on the train, like to park there and whatever else, yeah. and then going because yeah, it's going to be Yeah, but that's, that's a lot better than £60. Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, mine would have only been like forty because it had been rail card, so it's like normal price yeah. for a train ticket here. But oh, I've, I've got something the other day. Did you know you could get a rail card for a tenner? No, <laughs> I got a rail card the other day for a tenner. What do you mean? I just spent like thirty odd quid on one like a couple months ago. Yeah, well, I was looking online because normally there's always some voucher to get ten percent or twelve percent off. Um, yeah. So I've like for the last four rail cards, I've always been getting like a small discount. So it's always been like twenty seven pounds. So you're only saving a few quid, but a few quid's a few quid, isn't it? Um, yeah. But no, I was looking online, and then it was like, oh, fifty percent off for student holders. It's like, oh, I'm not a student, but I'm gonna have a look anyway, just to see like what the process is. And then it turns out um, there was an even better deal at the very bottom. It said. Um, Oh, if you've got a Tesco club card, even if you're not a student, 15 quid. I was like, oh, I don't have a Tesco club card, so I've got to apply for one. And then I realized that's how Tesco club cards work. And then, yeah, when I went onto the site, it was like, uh, one pound is actually three pounds. So it was a tenner. Amazing. For a 30 pound rail card. That's amazing. Mad deals. Absolutely mad deals. (sighs) 
Lucky anyway, bastard. sorry, I hijacked your story. So no, you're, no, going into yeah. Rel- you're going into London, you're parking up, you're getting a £10 train to go to Gibson, filming some cool things with your band, but it's a secret as to what you're filming. Yes. I think it's cool. mainly me filming. They just want to come and like look at the place. I see. So, Are you going to be swapping why. out your guitar whilst you're there? Because you've got one on loan, haven't yes. you? Yes. Yes. So have, have you got any ideas of what well. one you're going to swap it out for? Not a clue, because they've got... Uh, this is like part of the filming as well. They've got... Uh, some new stuff basically is all I can Ooh. say um, and they said I can probably bring one of them back with me so I was like okay yes you've got you've got to loan out one of the newest ones I have so because that would be, be a good. rarity to see yeah should be good and I'll bring that one to the gig as well if that does happen very exciting so, yeah but other than that that's my plans we're going to just hang out in London afterwards just do some things and then get a train back to the car car back home nice that Fish sounds uh, that sounds super fun, and hopefully it won't be too busy because um, obviously now we're officially out of lockdown. Um, we are officially out of lockdown. Yeah, it seems that uh, things are, <laughs> for some reason, going back to normal despite cases being sky high. Yeah, I mean, I I went out today to do a bit of shopping and stuff. Went to Primark, H and M, Nando's, mm-hmm. have some food in Nando's. Didn't do any shopping. Oh, I love some Nando's. What what did you get in Nando's? Oh, I, I think I just got four pieces of chicken, like four, mm. four boneless chickens or something what like spice? that. What spice? I don't like spice, so I I had the lowest. <laughs> Get out! Get out! All he right. went to Nando's. <laughs> Are you eating spice? Yeah. Not even medium. No, I don't like spice, Fraser. Get out, Kai! Get out! <laughs> <laughs> nah, fair enough. What did you but, get about um, um, Primark and all of that? What did you get anything from Primark? I got uh, there was a pair of red, uh, like Converse looking shoes on sale from twelve pounds to four in my and that's size. The secret word for this week, everybody: Converse. Hell yeah! Uh, got some underwear, very nice. Got oh some, wow, uh, we love underwear. Ankle socks. Got a oh wow, pair of hair ties or like a bunch of hair ties because I keep losing them. <laughs> and with the hot weather, I do tie my hair up a bit more because it's easy uh huh and that's about it really nice what's that yeah about most a... people though uh I will say a lot of people were still wearing masks in the shops and stuff um staff included I think I saw one or two staff members that weren't out of the yeah. whole like four hours I was there um and the only other people I didn't really see wearing masks was like the odd family the odd person and it seems like the m- people that weren't wearing it the most were like 16 17 year olds Right, I see. I would have said, but you know, what are you gonna do? Yeah. Well that's the reassurance not... to know that people are still wearing masks despite restrictions being yeah, completely like, eased. Everyone was still pretty much wearing one, so that just was a good goes thing to, to show say. that people are still concerned. And people still people have common sense. Don't necessarily agree. So finally we can see the uh, air quote great British public common sense um <laughs> kicking in, which is great news. Yes. Um, glad to hear that. Yes. Which is very good. But, Lovely. Yeah. Well, yeah, fingers crossed it isn't that busy then. Fingers crossed. It should be good. Same to you. I mean, yeah, you'll be, you'll be tucked away Saturday. anyway. That's for sure. You, yeah. like, you'll be in the Gibson HQ for quite a bit. And yeah, Saturday, I mean, it all depends what I do, to be honest. Yeah. Because I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. The only thing I've really got planned is that slide thing. Um, yeah. And then go into a restaurant. And then that, that's about it. Like, we'll see what else happens. But uh, yeah. It, depend, it depends on the weather as well. If it's going to be a really sunny day, then no doubt it's going to be heaving. Um, yeah. But I'll if like, it's not a sunny day... Park. Yeah. Oh, but go yeah, to the museum as well. They're all free still. So Yeah, that's a good shout. Out. Could do that. Yeah. Really easy to We get shall to. see. Hell yeah. But otherwise, I think that's about it for this week's episode. Yeah, sounds good. Um, remember, if you want to come along to our gig on the 26th, come along. It's at Hampton Inn, Herne Bay in Kent. And we start, I think the night starts about 8pm, so if you get there before, great. Uh, Obviously, keep safe, keep your distance and stuff if you can still, because, I mean, it's still probably wise, but obviously we can't enforce that, so have fun, enjoy your next however long. (laughs) Sounds like I'm saying bonus as well, if you do go, Kai's going to be throwing out guitar picks. Yeah! With Custom King for a day and um, Kai branding on them. Yeah, so that should be so, good. So, you got to go in order to get them, because they are rare. They don't exist yeah. anywhere There's else. There's only like 100, so... Yeah. I'm not going to throw you... 100, obviously, so I'll have like 
<laughs> ten, maybe. Yeah, one of them will probably land in someone's eye. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I think that's about it. So thank you for listening to this week's episode of... Remember, we upload every single Wednesday here on Help I'm Stuck in a Podcast on Spotify. So be sure to give us a little follow and also, you know, follow us on our Twitter and whatever else as well, at Stuck in a Podcast, Fraser's at Fraser IRL, mine's at Kairos Best. Same for Instagram, same for YouTube. And I don't really know what else to say, Fraser, to be honest. Do you have anything else to add? No, not really. Cool. Anyway, remember, don't get stuck in a freezer because otherwise you're going to freeze, bitch. Bitch.